Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the teams participating in this year's National Bank sponsored netball tournament. Teams, you may be seated. Deputy Governor General, Mr. Eustace John, Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Marcella Lyburn, former Prime Minister of St. Kitts and Nevis, Sir Kennedy Simmons, <laughs> sponsors of the, Net, of the Netball League, Managing Director for National Bank, Mr. Edmund Lawrence, Marketing Manager, Ms. Patri Mrs. Patricia Wilkinson, Director of Sports, Mr. Dave Connor. President of the St. Kitts Netball Association, Mrs. Juliet Hanley Lybird. Invited guests, honorees, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is indeed a pleasure for me to welcome you to this opening ceremony. Indeed, it shows that netball is very much alive in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. We promise you a several weeks of fun and interesting matches and we invite you back again after this ceremony as we proceed with the ceremony as we proceed with the ceremony i'll now invite the president of the netball association mrs juliet hanley Liebert, to do her remarks mrs Liebert. deputy governor general sir eustace john Speaker of the National Assembly, Ms. Marcella Lyburn, Sir Kennedy Simmons, former Prime Minister, Mr. Edmund Lawrence, Managing Director of our sponsor, National Bank, Mrs. Patricia Wilkinson, Marketing Manager of National Bank, former netballers, visiting team from Antigua, the understand, Director of Sports, Mr. Dave Connor, honorees, Specially invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I do take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of you here to Netball City for this ceremony marking the start of the 2008 St. Kitts, Nevis, Anguilla National Bank sponsored league. As you can see, I am back after a few years of absence. Seemingly, there are numbers of, a number of persons exercising confidence in my abilities to manage effectively, thus my re-election to the presidency of Netball. I would therefore like to express my appreciation to those persons for their confidence in me and endeavor to do my utmost best. In these tremendously difficult times, I know it won't be easy, but with God's help, and the highly skillful and talented team of assistants I have provided with, we will prevail. The other members of the executive body are, can you please stand, Ms. Tenny Lapsi, Vice President. <laughs> Judy Tyrrell, Secretary. <laughs> Cheryl Lybird, Treasurer. Mr. Campbell Douglas, Assistant Secretary, Treasurer. Mr. Douglas, can you please come, that person could acknowledge you, please. Mr. Jeffrey Hanley, PRO. Mrs. Gail Deer. Mrs. Gwendolyn Natter. Ms. Rajona Trubney. Those are the three elected persons to management, and we have the immediate past president, Mrs. Emilita Warner Paul. <laughs> Pooling our talents, a management team like this should be able once again to nurture the sports of netball back to the pinnacle of sports in St. Kitts and do our highly esteemed sponsor, the St. Kitts Nevis Anguilla National Bank, proud. This year, there are 15 participating teams, four in Division One, six in Division Two, and five in the Under-16. There are Carrie Pearl 
Kiam Pesos, kindly stand, please. First Caribbean mystic. Persons United, they're not on parade this afternoon. Coca-Cola Shamrock. In Division 2, Carrie Pearl Keon Pacers. St. Peter's Netball Club. Crimson Dawn, formerly of Sandy Point. Net Paul Stars who are not here this afternoon. St. Paul's Coca Cola Shamrock. In the only 16, we have St. Peter's. Washington Archibald, two boat teams. Bastia High School. That is the SL Horsford Bastia High School. Thank you. I would like to congratulate the Keon Pacers, kindly stand again, for winning the 2007 champion in the first division. And also the Coca Cola Shamrock for winning the 2007 championship in the second division. I would like also to thank the Capistia Netball team, who is not here this afternoon, for participating in the recently concluded 2008 Club Championship in St. Lucia, where they placed third. They took up the challenge on very short notice after Keon Pacers' team was unavailable. The sport of netball aids considerably in the physical upkeep for our young ladies here in St. Kitts. Their healthy lifestyle is much enhanced by the physical exercise derived from practice sessions, warm-ups, and actual playing. Quite noticeable in recent time, many players seem to show up at Netball City only when their teams are playing, believing that because they were regarded as a good player over the years, it will always remain that without sharpening their skills, exercising, and most of all, looking on to see what the other teams are doing. Some teams have gotten a rude awakening over the years. When they show up to play a team they used to beat and find out that they could not, no longer just walk over them. The players have grown bigger and stronger and have learned a few new tricks while they were not looking. That is why it is very important to look at all your opponents. See what they are doing, then work on your skills. Sharpen them, work out strategies, exercise, train and minimize the chances of surprises that will prove unpleasant on the court. St. Kitts is by far the tiniest country in the region ever to have held regional supremacy in the sports of netball, and we should all be proud of that. Not only did we win the Caribbean supremacy in 1973, but we also did in 1978. Presently in our midst, we have Marcel Leiber, the Speaker of the House, who was one of those players. We have Gillian Archibald. We have Joan Phillip. We have persons like Camelita Gilbert. And we have Telma, Dr. Telma Philip Brown. And we have Dolores Hobson, who was there with the team um, in Tick and Tin, we had Sir Kennedy, who was also there, with um, the late Robert L. Bratcher. So we can rise to that pinnacle once more. So let us put our heads, our shoulders to the wheel and continue striving. Some years when we did not win, we were merely missed by the mark, by the tiniest of margin. Today, Caribbean supremacy is by no means out of our reach, but we have to work hard towards it. Like the Calypso of the late Mighty Bart Towell said, and I quote, 
We beat them already, and we will beat them again. It won't, however, just fall in our laps. With real hard work and dedication, we could all rise once more. In order to achieve this, we will have to work to together. May God's blessings be with you all. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Lyward. At this time, I would invite to the podium a representative from National Bank to give the sponsors remarks. I would like to adopt a protocol that has already been established. On behalf of National Bank, I am extremely proud to be here once again representing the bank. National Bank has been sponsoring this league for over 20-something years. And this speaks to our commitment not only to the sport of netball, but to sports in general. I would like to congratulate the um, organizing committee for another brilliant match pass. I've seen over 20-something of these match passes, and this was another spectacular event. And I'd like to congratulate the organizing committee. I would also like to congratulate the teams for registering because without the participation and the registration of the teams, the league would be much smaller. For all the athletes, I would like to congratulate you for coming here today. On behalf of the bank, once again, I would like to wish everyone a successful league. And last but not least, I would like to say to the players, as you fight for the prizes in the spirit of the game, I wish you all success. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Wilkinson. Thank you, thank you. I will now invite the Director of Sports, Mr. Dave Connor, to deliver some remarks. Ms. Diana Williams, Chairperson. Your Honor, Mr. Eustace John, Deputy Governor General, Sankis Nevis. Former Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Sir Kennedy Simmons. <laughs> Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Marcella Leibard. And netballer extraordinaire, still. Mr. Edmund Lawrence, Managing Director of the St. Kitts Nevis Anguilla National Bank Group of Companies. Mrs. Patricia Wilkinson, manage, Marketing Manager. Ms. Hilarine Donna Morton and Ms. Camelita Gilbert Henry Honorees, President of the St. Kitts Netball Association, Mrs. Juliet Hanley Leibard, former netballers, special guests, players, coaches, officials, ladies and gentlemen. First, let me present apologies on behalf of the Minister of State, Honorable. Senator Richard Skerritt, who is at the tourism meeting in Antigua at this moment and cannot, could, therefore could not be here with us. Also on behalf of Permanent Secretary Mr. Lloyd Lazar, who is also overseas doing official duties at the Commonwealth Sports Meeting where he is the Caribbean's representative on the Commonwealth Board. How many realize that netball was derived from basketball in the United States? It was then known as women's basketball. In 1895, Miss Clara Gregory Bayer, one of the pioneers of women's sport, went to Dr. Naismith, the inventor of basketball, and requested the rules. After studying the rules, she saw where she could modify the game to become a sport that could be strictly for women. Why? In those days, the women could not effectively carry out the movements of basketball, such as running and dribbling, because of the type of clothing that was then worn. So therefore, She modified the game of basketball, and it was then known as women's basketball, but later took on the name netball. It was first played in England in 1895, spread to Australia, and then to the Caribbean 
first two countries in the Caribbean, I understand, was Jamaica and Antigua. And we have a visiting team here from Antigua. Why am I going back here? It wasn't until 19, it wasn't until the hard and fast rules weren't utilized until late in, the, in late 90s, 1890s. Back then, as much as nine persons played the game, sometimes five. So it was five aside, nine aside, seven aside. And the regulations for basketball didn't come and stream until persons decided to standardize the game. In 1901, basketball officially became a competitive sport. The rules were standardized. And in 1960, if not, the International Federation for Netball Associations was formed with the first world championship in 1963 in England. In 18, 1995, netball became an Olympic sport. Why have I dug up this history? Netball has a proud heritage. That is the international history. The history of netball in St. Kitts and Nevis has a proud history. But more so St. Kitts. We are not once, but two-time Caribbean champions. 1973 and 1978. And we have some of those players who are still here today and who can still play very good netball. Today we are here to celebrate yet another step in St. Kitts netball history. I want to challenge the Netball Association to emulate the history of their sport. As the years went by, the game evolved. We at the Ministry of Tourism, Sports and Culture, as well as the spectators, the players, the officials, are looking forward to the 2008 St. Kitts, St. Kitts Netball Association being put, being as is the association coming into partnership with us to develop the sport. This means that proper planning must be implemented to include schools, the community, and national programs. We must partner with each other to introduce to introduce the game at an early age with age-appropriate equipment and also caring and trained coaches to enhance the overall experience of all participants in the game of netball. I want to challenge again the St. Kitts Netball Association to have the courage to go against the norms in an effort to effect positive change amongst the major, the majority, if not all, of your players. Do not be afraid to dialogue with us at the Department of Sport. My doors are always open. Confide in us. Share your plans so that we may partner with you. And finally, whatever you do, let these three Ps live in your teachings. And this is for the players. Have pride in yourselves, in your sport, and in your country. Have a passion for the sport that you play. And finally, patriotism must abound within your hearts. You must have love for your country. If these three are present, we can enhance the environment of our sport and we may look forward to a successful 2008 season. Ladies and gentlemen, players, coaches, officials, sponsors, sports administrators, I now declare the St. Kitts Nevis Anguilla National Bank and the St. Kitts Nevis Netball Association 2008 Netball League open. I thank you.